News Break. Brought to you by National Mutual. This is National 9 News with Peter Hitchener. Good evening. Statements are still expected later tonight from the state government and the administrator of the Pyramid Building Society Group. There's still no news on whether Pyramid branches will open tomorrow, but the Premier, Mr Kane, has been in meetings tonight with Building Society Association officials about future policy. Sue Carey followed today's events. For many investors, the end to what they described as the longest week of their lives was spent here at Geelong's Cadinia Park. More than 6,000 people ignored the cold and wet to listen to fellow investors who, almost overnight, have become skilled political campaigners. Our aim, unlike what one heckler uh, suggested, is not to bring down the Kane government. They're doing a pretty good job of that themselves. But there were no cheers for the government's most senior representative, local MP and sports minister, Neil Trezires. And from the opposition came a demand for the Premier to quit and for Parliament to be recalled to tighten legislation controlling building societies. But there was another challenge to the Premier, that he investigate rumours that some MPs had withdrawn funds from Pyramid accounts and the full knowledge that an administrator was to be appointed. And the Pyramid crisis assumed national implications today following comments by Federal Finance Minister Ralph Willis. Speaking on the Nine Network Sunday program, Mr Willis underlined the distinction between the security of banks and building societies. The reason that they offer higher interest rates is because there's a risk premium there. They're simply not as safe as putting your money in a bank. It was a claim rejected by building societies which have already experienced what they describe as a small run on deposits. Now reflecting on his involvement is Pyramid boss Bill Farrow, who drew support today from local church members. We encourage all members to pray for our community at this time, for those involved and indirectly involved in this crisis. For the first time, Mr Farrow publicly acknowledged he was to blame for the corporation's predicament. I think as um, um, leader of an organisation, you've got to accept um, responsibility. The buck stops with you. And obviously, in hindsight, you would have um, been doing things um, a little bit differently. Sue Carey, National 9 News. A gunman who shot and wounded an elderly woman at Deer Park today was himself shot dead by police this evening. The fatal shooting came as police stormed a house where the gunman had been besieged for almost four hours. Hugh Remington reports the gunman is believed to be in his 20s and from interstate. Long after the siege ended with the death of the gunman, police remained at the scene this evening. Their inquiry now is into a police shooting. For four hours this afternoon, police had the man encircled in a house in Station Road, Deer Park. It was in that house around one o'clock that he shot a woman in her 60s after smashing a front window. The injured woman, hit in the abdomen, was helped to safety by her husband and tonight is in a stable condition at the Western General Hospital. The shooting appeared to have no rational motive. We have nothing to uh, connect him to that particular lady, no. So it seems at this stage it's an entirely a random shooting. It certainly would appear that way. Neighbours spoke of this terrifying visitor to their suburb. Just yelling at the top of his voice and I'd say he was erratic. Definitely mentally uh, der uh, deranged. Negotiations failed to get him to surrender. Just before 5pm, the Special Operations Group moved in. Stun grenades failed to subdue the man. Immediate reports said he fired at police. Those shots were returned. He was hit at least once in the body. Ambulance officers were on the scene within minutes, but too late. The gunman was dead. Hugh Rimmington, National 9 News. Now, news just in. We've heard that the Premier, Mr Kane, has said that in future the major banks will provide a line of credit to building societies with liquidity problems. But he said it would not be possible to include the Pyramid Group in this arrangement. The administrator's statement on Pyramid is still awaited. Well, that's all from the news desk for this evening. Till I see you again, it's good night. This has been a National Nine News presentation. What National Mutual did to help John Hayes maintain his lifestyle when he retired, National Mutual can do for you. National Mutual, for the most important person in the world.